Hey there guys, Dave Thomas with Dave Thomas and the Dream Team. Now an agent out of Florida asked me for my take on the seller's property disclosure. Let me start by saying this. In my real estate career, I've seen three lawsuits. All three of those lawsuits were in regard to the seller's property disclosure and a seller who failed to disclose an item on that document. Some people call that lying. It's also known as fraud. In my hands here, I'm holding two seller's property disclosures. This one is Mary. This one is Benjamin. Mary said that there were absolutely no permit issues with her home. But there were, Mary, weren't there, and you knew about them. So Mary is incurring a half million dollar lawsuit as we speak. Benjamin, on the other hand, let us know that every now and then, when it gets cold enough, pipes freeze in his laundry room. So now the buyer knows that from time to time when it gets cold, he just needs to run hot water in the laundry room and his pipes won't freeze. Benjamin is not incurring a lawsuit right now. Mary is going to have to liquidate her retirement in order to pay for the compromised sewer line she knew about prior to closing. Benjamin, on the other hand, is probably on a Teddy Roosevelt-style safari hunting for T-Rex with Jeff Goldblum at Site B. I heard they spared no expense. Mary, on the other hand, is probably going to have to start cooking meth in her garage in order to pay for the roof damage she knew about prior to closing. Benjamin is probably going to have to decide whether he likes a 3 or a 4 iron better for his approach on the ninth hole because he let us know that his basement used to flood, but it hasn't been a problem since he installed the French drain. What sellers think is that if they disclose something, a buyer's not going to want to come and buy their home and thus try to hide it. What sellers need to understand is that buyers are going to live in your home for the next 3, 4, 5, 30 years full time. So if you hide something, they're going to figure it out eventually. And what most sellers don't understand is that a failure to disclose item in most states is considered fraud. And therefore, your umbrella insurance policy won't cover you. So unlike your weight on your driver's license, honesty really is the best policy with your seller's property disclosure. So as always, if you need real estate help, call this number.